Rodeo Friday. It's actually not today. Today is uh, something Tuesday. Doug will hook us up with that. Um, Jeff, thank you so much for uh, introducing this uh, option for uh, randomly calling out people. Taylor, way to take that idea and run with it. Um, I obviously like small groups because they're interactive, but when I'm doing a face video, it's hard to be interactive. So thanks for your guys' participation. Um, we learn a little bit towards the end of Jeremiah. We finished Jeremiah today and uh, we start Lamentations, but um, we learn about Sariah. Sariah is a dude, he's the high priest. Um, it's funny that Jeremiah is not the high priest, he's just a prophet. Um, Sariah is given instructions to deliver to, remember yesterday we were talking about all the different nations and how Jeremiah was writing books to these nations. Um, I found out today that you know Jeremiah is actually a book of books. Um, that's why they're kind of out of chronological order. You'll hear about the uh, you know the fall of Jerusalem, and then you'll hear about the fall of Jerusalem, and then you'll hear about you know uh, God's answer to the fall of Jerusalem by you know taking out uh, Babylon. Uh, but then it goes right back to the fall of Jerusalem. So um, we also learn about Zedekiah. Zedekiah. He's the king, and uh, for 11 years, remember the beginning of Jeremiah, um, God just keeps on giving Zedekiah outs. Just, hey, just go surrender to the Chaldeans. Um, Nebuchadnezzar will, you know, uh, will save you um, if you just surrender to him. You know, for 11 years, uh, Jeremiah keeps on telling Zedekiah, like, just go surrender. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Um, instead, he tries to escape through the gates in his garden. Um, they kill his kids in front of him, then pluck out his eyes and he dies in prison. Yeah. Uh, there's another king though. There's, uh, there's always you know two kings um, after Solomon's son uh, uh, split the kingdom up as a result of not listening to the wise counsel of the elders. Um, uh, good point for churches that have elders. It's good to have counsel um, and council meetings. Anywho, uh, so there's two kingdoms of Israel, and uh, the one king, Zedekiah, we know what happened, eyes are out, he's in, he's in prison. Uh, but the other king, he's in, he's in prison for a while, and then uh, something unique happens. Nebuchadnezzar's uh, reign, reign ends, uh, a new king over Babylon comes up and likes the king uh, and pulls him out of prison. and. Has, has him sit with him at his table. Now we see that in David. David, when um, Jonathan died, remember David, David's really good friend, Jonathan, Saul's son? Um, David goes to Jonathan's kin and tries to find anyone that's related to Jonathan and finds, I believe, his nephew. Jeff, you can help me out on that one as well. Um, and he's a cripple and, and has his nephew sit at um, his table. So this sitting at the king's table is a big deal. It's like, um, I don't know, uh, getting to eat at a, a, a really fancy restaurant every night because I guess you get the best of the best foods and it's, it's a big deal to be able to sit at the king's table. So anyway, anyways, two, um, two Israelite kings get um, kid, you know, taken in the exile. One uh, dies in prison, the other one eventually, at the end of, the, end of Jeremiah, the last thing mentioned, um, is sitting at the table. Um, yeah, I try just to take the, the words that I hear on the way to work and just do some theology with it, which is the study of God's Word. Um, I don't try to put a whole lot of doctrine spin on it. Doctrine meaning what I believe or, you know, what that means. Um, but I, I do say, I, will want, I do want to say that in Jeremiah, you see law, so God's wrath, uh, and, and what sin means to God a lot. And right when you think it's just like a pure law book, You'll see gospel. You'll see, you know, God redeeming Israel. God uh, being, giving the righteousness to Israel. Um, and so, I think we've seen that throughout our study of the Old Testament that both law and gospel are used. And uh, and I think that's it's, it's good for us to know because obviously it all points to the redeeming blood of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. And I think some people like to throw out the Old Testament. So it's enough doctrine for today. Uh, don't worry, for Rodeo Friday, it's just theology. You just get to read the, the Word of God and tell us what that meant to you. So enjoy your rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow.